times are changing. The current and future energy demand lies in the safe hands of Qatar. This oil-rich state is transitioning into the world's energy capital with its booming exports of oil and gas and derivatives as a result of the successful governmental strategy to maximize utilization of hydrocarbon resources. The state's master and strategic plans, development of the energy resources and economic reforms have helped ensure the world a promising future with clean energy. Under the leadership of His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, and His Highness the Heir Apparent, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Qatar's policies of economic development are indeed far-sighted. A high percentage of the government revenues are reinvested into the development of infrastructure and a variety of energy projects. Discovered in 1971, the North Field, 80 kilometers north of Ras Lafan, is the world's largest single non-associated gas field. Covering 6,000 square kilometers, the North Field boasts of 900 trillion cubic feet of proven reserves of natural gas, about 20% of the world's known gas reserves. In order to exploit this huge energy resource, Qatar Petroleum devised a strategic plan that resulted in the planning, design, and construction of Ras Lafan Industrial City, the largest financial and technical project in the history of Qatar. Converting a desert headland to the modern industrial city was the vision realized by many experts to see Ras Lafan grow into a world-scale industrial city based upon the use of natural gas for fuel and feedstock. The most remarkable of all the city's infrastructural achievements is the Ras Lafan port. At eight and a half square kilometers, Ras Lafan port is among the largest LNG exporting facilities in the world. The current port will look forward to an increase in LNG berths from two to five, and liquid berths from two to six, in order to meet the end user's requirements. In addition, a major expansion of Ras Lafon port will triple the capacity of the existing harbor to meet the requirements of LNG, GTL, and petrochemical projects planned over the next 20 years. The expansion will include additional LNG and liquid berths, a dry dock facility, and a container terminal for the export of petrochemical products, new solid cargo berths, and new service berths for offshore operations. Today, Ras Lafon Industrial City proudly stands in the forefront of the world energy market with an annual supply of 26 million tons per annum of LNG worldwide, predicting a record export of 77 million tons per annum by the year 2010, 225 million tons per annum by 2024, and promises to be the largest hydrocarbon port on the globe. Qatar Gas and Ras Gas own and operate two of the world's leading industries in the fields of LNG production and export. The state-of-the-art expansion projects have positioned them to be the world's principal supplier of LNG. The current export markets comprising Japan, Korea, India, and spot markets such as Europe, and Americas indicate the range and variety of export markets available for LNG. To cater to the growing importance of Ras Lafon as an industrial superpower, the management at Ras Lafon Industrial City is fully committed to providing excellent services to its current and future clients. Ras Lafon Industrial City plays a vital role in the development and construction of upcoming industries identifying potential synergies, liaise with existing and potential end users, plan and develop common infrastructure facilities. The Ras Lafon Power Company produces 750 megawatts of electricity for the city's industries and Qatar's national grid. The associated desalination plant provides 40 million gallons of potable water per day. 
Phase two of the project, with an ultimate capacity of some 1,020 megawatts and approximately 30 million gallons of water, is underway, and phase three is planned. The Common Cooling Water Network is an indigenous project based on economies of scale and delivers cooling water to a wide spectrum of the city's industries. This cooling water project has a total capacity of over 1 million cubic meters per hour of seawater. Phase one, with a capacity of 300,000 cubic meters per hour, is complete, and phase two is underway. The waste management facility in Ras Lafon allows for the disposal of non-hazardous industrial waste while minimizing any risk to the environment. A 2.5 million square foot support services, full-fledged commercial complex, and a dedicated medical center. The accommodation camp, which currently comprises furnished units for 6,500 people, is due to house 50,000 people in the future. Ras Lafon Industrial City offers world-class 24-hour emergency fire and security services to end users in compliance with international codes and industry best practices. In this day and age, with many industries flourishing, importance has been given to the protection of the natural habitat. Over the years, Ras Lafon Industrial City has developed and implemented successful environmental monitoring and conservation programs to ensure maximum protection of the flora and fauna. An environmental laboratory has been set up to analyze and monitor coastal waters, analyze all waste for classification, monitor air and groundwater quality, as well as noise levels. Ras Lafon Industrial City also provides informative and awareness programs to the local community and strives to care for future generations. In addition to the increase of the LNG production, the RLC Master Plan visualizes the future growth of city and its industries. The Oryx GTL company is the first plant being built in Qatar to transform gas into liquids. The plant has a capacity of 34,000 barrels per day of LPG, naphtha and diesel, the green energies of the future. The Pearl Shell GTL project will produce 140,000 barrels per day of GTL products and base oils. ExxonMobil's GTL project will produce 154,000 barrels per day of GTL products and associated base oils. The ambitious Dolphin project will provide the UAE and Oman with 2 billion cubic feet of natural gas per day with a potential expansion of an additional 1 billion. Another pipeline will connect Bahrain and Kuwait to the Northfield reserves. These pipelines will constitute the backbone of a GCC gas grid that promises to bring about deeper economic integration of the region. Three other possible GTL plants, the Lafon Condensate Refinery, and many other petrochemical plants, such as an ethylene and ammonia, urea and methanol plants, are in the planning stage. A helium plant will produce 660 million cubic feet per year at start, up within the next few years, and by 2010, 1 billion cubic feet per year. The al Khalij gas project will develop reserves in the north field to supply 1.75 billion cubic feet per day of lean gas to Oryx GTL, the Ross Lafon Power Company, other domestic plants in RLC, as well as Mesaid Industrial City. Qatar Petroleum's local training programs will result in a bright future for the local workforce, and Ras Lafon Industrial City has shown its active participation in the program. Ras Lafon is an ideal future location for energy giants and investors from all around the globe. The sky is the limit for Ras Lafon Industrial City, with broad expansion capacity and seemingly limitless quantities of feedstock. The city currently covers an area of approximately 106 square kilometers and will be expanding its boundaries dramatically in the near future. Why is Ras Lafon the ideal location to invest? A secure supply of energy. Low energy costs. 
located strategically in the center of the Arabian Gulf between Europe and Asia with access to global markets. Land lease availability. Government's open door policy towards foreign investments. And last but not least, a strong, stable and expanding economy. Ras Lefan Industrial City. Purely Ras Lefantastics. <laughs>